He's walked the corridors of Whitehall before as Australian Prime Minister. Now Tony Abbott could do the same as trade advisor for the UK. But his previous public remarks, some deemed sexist and homophobic, have forced ministers into a difficult position as Downing Street considers whether to appoint him or not. As the former Prime Minister of Australia, obviously Mr Abbott has got a huge amount of experience. I'm sure you don't support some of his comments. He's a homophobe and he's a misogynist. Well, uh, he's also an expert in uh, trade. <laughs> so one plays off against the other? Really? Is that really what you're saying, Health Secretary? Come on. Well, no, what I'm saying is that we need experts in uh, different areas. And critics warn doing so would harm the UK's global reputation. You cannot simply say, well, he's good at trade, so it doesn't matter that he's a sexist and misogynist and climate change denier. You know, I think having somebody with those views representing the UK probably doesn't help us boost trade, might actually hinder that. But for Mr Abbott, strong views go hand in hand with an ability to get things done. Inevitably, if you have convictions, you'll draw criticism. But if you want to get things done, uh, you need people with convictions. Uh, obviously, I can't comment on any position uh, which is not yet official, uh, but certainly uh, I think that uh, it's in Britain's interest and it's in Australia's interests that this particular free trade deal be done as quickly as possible. International Trade Secretary Liz Truss, who recommended him for the role, also brushed off criticism today. Well, I think it's absolute hypocrisy to hear this type of argument from the Labour Party. And there's a sense in Whitehall that Mr Abbott's track record makes him well suited for the job. In 2017, Tony Abbott wrote that his success with trade negotiations came from setting firm deadlines and making sure, as he called them, peripheral issues didn't get in the way of striking a deal. The UK government wants trade talks tied up quickly to kick Britain off on the right foot as it leaves the European Union. But is knocking heads together qualification enough? I think Tony Abbott has shown through what he's written and what he's said that he's very much on board with the Brexit pro project, with the pure Brexit project that uh, the Prime Minister supports. And I think that for this government it's more important to have friends around than it is necessarily to have the, the right kind of expertise around. The UK's new Board of Trade will play a crucial part in shaping Britain on the world stage after Brexit. Mr Abbott clearly has the support of those close to Boris Johnson. Whether he'll be on that board is yet to be decided. Kate McCann, Sky News.